Good evening, brothers and sisters. We are making our way through the first day of Great Lent, and so we'll be celebrating this evening the uh, Great Compline service uh, with the Canon of St. Andrew. And if you follow your daily cycle of services, uh, we begin in the morning with Matins, and then we have the Hours uh, that occur during the course of the day, then Vespers, Compline comes usually after that, and then Nocturne is that last service late at night that we celebrate um, really at Pascha time. So uh, this uh, service is a meaningful service toward the end of the day, but also in addition, we have the wonderful Canon of St. Andrew. So for those who are uh, here joining us virtually this way, you should have a copy of the text if you didn't pick one up from church, you could follow on the uh, PDF form that was sent out to all of you. So, thank you for joining us. Please pray together with us. You got kindness and have mercy upon me. You got kindness and have mercy upon me. You got kindness and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. <clears throat> Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. One. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me, O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire my hurt. Let them be appalled because of their shame who say, Aha, Aha. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great, but I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God, you are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not tarry. <clears throat> salvation. He is my God. I will glorify Him, God of my Father. I will exalt Him, for in glory was He How shall I begin to mourn the deeds of my wretched life? What can I offer as first fruits of repentance? In your compassion, O Christ, forgive my sins. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Come, my wretched soul, and confess your sins in the flesh to the Creator of all. 
From this moment forsake your former foolishness and offer to God tears of repentance. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. My transgressions rival those of first created Adam, and because of my sins, I find myself naked of God and of his everlasting kingdom. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Alas, my wretched soul, why are you so like Eve? You see evil and are grievously wounded by it. You touch the tree and taste heedlessly of its deceiving fruit. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Instead of the person Eve, I have within my inward being an Eve of passionate thoughts, which, though seemingly sweet, never lose their bitter taste. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. For failing to observe just one of your commandments, O Savior, Adam was justly exiled from Eden. What then shall I suffer for continually ignoring your words of life? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity, above all essence, and worshipped as one God, take from me the heavy burden of sin, and since you are compassionate, grant me tears of repentance. Amen, 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 amen. Ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, hope and protection of those who sing to you, take from me the heavy burden of sin, and as our pure lady, accept me as I repent. Listen, O heaven, and I will speak. O earth, hear the cry of one returning to God and singing his praises. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Look down on me in your mercy, O compassionate God and Savior, and accept my fervent confession. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. More than all have I sinned. I alone have sinned against you, O God, my Savior. But have compassion on me, your creature. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Through love of pleasure has my form become deformed, and the beauty of my inward being has been ruined. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy O oh, compassionate one, as you saved Peter when he was about to sink, so reach out now to me, for a storm of evil surges around me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O oh, Savior, I have defiled the garment of my flesh, and polluted that which you fashioned within me, according to your own image and likeness. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. With passions have I darkened the beauty of my soul, and permitted my whole inward being to become a mire. Have mercy, mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I lie naked, having torn up the garment which my Creator fashioned for me in the beginning. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I am ashamed, for the serpent deceived me, and my garment is in tatters. 
Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O compassionate one, like the prostitute who anointed your feet, so now do I offer you tears. Have mercy on me, O Savior. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I lie naked and ashamed, for I was deceived by the beauty of the tree, which I saw in the middle of the garden. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The demons have cut deep wounds of passion into my back. Their lawlessness has made it like a plowed field. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O God of all, I sing of you as one, yet in three in persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Never and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Theotokos, virgin alone, praise everywhere. Pray fervently that we may be saved. Establish your church on the unshakable rock of your commandments, O Christ. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The Lord once caused fire to rain down from heaven, O my soul, and the land of Sodom was consumed. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Save yourself from sin, O my soul. Like Lot on the mountain, take timely refuge in the town of Zoar. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Run from the flames, O my soul, run from the burning of Sodom, run from the destruction caused by fire sent from God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy. O Christ my Savior, I have sinned more than anyone. I alone have sinned against you, yet do not forsake me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As a good shepherd, search for me, your sheep who has gone astray, and do not forsake me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I confess, O Savior, that I have sinned against you, but since you are compassionate, absolve and forgive me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O God, Trinity, yet one, save us from delusions, temptations, and misfortune. Never and unto ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, O womb which received God. Rejoice, O throne of the Lord. Rejoice, O mother of our life. The prophet heard of your coming, O Lord, and was afraid that you were to be born of a virgin and appear to men. And he said, I have heard the report of you. not forget your saving acts, O righteous judge, or turn away from your creatures, but in your compassion forgive me, though I have sinned more than all. 
for yours is the power to remit the sins of all. The end is approaching, O my soul, it is approaching. So why do you not care or prepare yourself for it? Arise, the time is short. The judge already stands at the door. Life is vanishing like a dream. So why do you continue living in vanity? Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Arise, O my soul, and reveal the evil things you have done. Ponder them well and allow your tears to flow. Then confess your deeds and thoughts openly to Christ, and he will make you righteous. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. There has never been a sin, a deed, an evil act which I have not cherished, O oh Savior. I have sinned in my thoughts, my words, and my deeds, and no one has sinned more than I. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Despair condemns me in the tribunal of my conscience, where judgment is harsher than by any law on earth. O oh, my judge, who created and redeemed me, Spare, deliver, and save me, your servant. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. The ladder which long ago Jacob, the great patriarch, saw is for you, O my soul, an image to consider. The bottommost rung is a first step toward doing the will of God, while those which follow lead to true knowledge of him. Therefore renew your life if you wish to do God's work, to receive knowledge and insight. Have mercy on me, oh God, have mercy on me. Wishing to marry Rachel, Jacob tended her father's sheep for seven years through the scorching heat of the day and the frost of night, <clears throat> when given Leah by deceit, he struggled and slayed yet another seven, finally to win his chosen bride. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Now consider these two wives as images of diligence and wisdom. Leah, who bore many children, is untiring labor, while Rachel is that wisdom which one acquires only through diligence. Neither, however, is possible, O oh my soul, without your effort. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I confess you as one God in Trinity, a single essence, unconfused in persons, co-enthroned and co-ruling. And I sing to you, Holy, 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Never and unto ages, of ages, amen. As a virgin you gave birth, and a virgin you remain by nature, your womb giving birth painlessly. For he who is born of you renewed the laws of nature, since when God wills, its order is overthrown. Out of the night I watch early for you, and lighted me, I pray, O lover of men, and guide even me in your commandments, and teach me, O Savior, to do your will. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. In the darkness of night has my whole life passed, Amidst shadowy delusions I cannot escape. 
Heart, O Savior, make me now a child of the day. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. My soul is in despair, for like Reuben who defiled his father's bed, I have disobeyed the will of God my Father by defiling his image within me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I confess my sins to you, O Christ my King. Like Joseph's brothers, I have sold into slavery him who was chaste and pure. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As an image of our Lord was that righteous soul cast out by his brothers and sold into slavery, while you, my soul, have sold yourself into your own evil hands. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O suffering and hopeless soul, imitate the purity of mind and righteous Joseph, and do not sin by being led astray by irrational desires. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy. Joseph, being placed in a pit, formed an image of your burial and resurrection, O Lord and Master. Will I ever be able to endure such things for your sake? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We glorify you, O Trinity, one in essence, and we praise and adore you forever, singing, Holy, Holy, Holy. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. God, the Creator of all things, became incarnate through you, O pure Virgin Mother, uniting our human nature to Himself. I cried with my whole heart to the merciful God, and he heard me from the lowest hell, and raised my life out of corruption. Have mercy on me, O Savior, sincere tears and the deepest groanings of my soul crying from the heart, O God, I have sinned against you. Be merciful to me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. When Dathan and Abiram <clears throat> did find Moses and turn from the Lord, the earth opened to swallow them. Now you, my soul, have turned from the Lord as well must cry with your whole heart from the depths of hell to be spared, lest you share their loss. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Having lived as a stubborn mule, O my soul, like that idol worshiper Ephraim, now as an agile deer, flee the hunters and save your life, strengthening it with good deeds, wisdom, and prayer. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Be assured, O my soul, that as God was able to turn Moses' hand white with disease and cleanse it once again, so can he also cleanse and purify a diseased life. Therefore do not despair of yourself, even though infected with many sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I am the Trinity, simple and undivided in essence, yet divided in persons. I am also the unity, united in nature, says God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ages of ages. Amen. Your womb, O 
Theotokos, how God, who for our sake took human form, implore him, the creator of all, that through your prayers we may be justified. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. My soul, my soul, arise. Why are you sleeping? The end is approaching and you will be confounded. Awake then and be watchful. You may be spared by Christ God, who is everywhere present and fills all things. We have seen. Transgressed on wrong before you. We have not watched nor done as you have commanded us. I have sinned, I have erred, I have rejected your commandments, I have increased in sin and added to the wounds of my soul, but in your compassion be merciful to me, O God of our fathers. I have confessed to you, my judge, the secrets of my heart. See my humility, my distress, and give me now your judgment. In your compassion be merciful to me, O God of our fathers. Have mercy on me, O God. Saul lost his father's flock and found himself suddenly proclaimed king of Israel. Watch, O my soul, lest your animal instincts now block you from the kingdom of Christ. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. David was a forefather of the Lord, O my soul, yet sinned doubly by committing both murder and adultery. Your sickness, however, is even worse than his deeds because of your impulsive will. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy on me. David, though once compounding his sins by first murdering a man and then stealing his wife, was quick to repent of both. You, however, O oh my soul, have done worse things than he, yet never repented of them before the Lord. Have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. David once showed us the image of true repentance in a psalm he wrote exposing all he had done. Be merciful to me and cleanse me, he wrote, for against you only have I sinned, the God of our fathers. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the, the Holy Spirit. Simple and undivided, one in essence and nature, light and lights, one holy and three holies. God is praised as Trinity, so sing praises to him, O my soul, and glorify the life and lives, the God of all. 
you, we bless and venerate you, O Mother of God, for from the undivided Trinity you brought forth the only Son of God, and restored to us on earth the heavenly <coughs> realm. Him whom the heavenly host glorify, and before whom cherubim Seraphim tremble, let every breath and all creation praise, bless and exalt throughout all ages. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Savior, I have sinned. Now convert my soul and receive me in repentance as I cry. Against you only have I sinned and live lawlessly. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Remember, O my soul, how Elijah once drove the fiery chariot into heaven, abandoning all earthly cares by perfection in every virtue. Lord, have mercy on me. Elisha inherited a double portion of prophetic spirit when Elijah's mantle fell from heaven upon him. But how can you, my soul, hope to share in such graces, not yet having learned to control your love? of worldly pleasures. Have mercy on me, oh God, have mercy on me. Once the river Jordan was divided when Elisha struck its waters with Elijah's mantle, but how can you hope to share in such wonders, not yet having learned to control your love of worldly pleasures? The wealthy woman of Shunem showed her goodwill by entertaining the righteous Elisha, but you, my soul, receive neither strangers nor travelers, and will find yourself an alien cast out of the bridal chamber of Christ. Lord, have mercy on me. When Elisha cured Naaman of a dread disease, he asked no price in return. But you, my soul, have imitated his wicked servant Gehazi, who sought money in his master's name. Abandon such greed before the end, lest you be cast into eternal fire. Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, co-eternal Son, and gracious Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, Father of the Divine Word, Word of the Eternal Father, and Life-Creating Spirit, Trinity and Unity, have mercy on us. O pure virgin, the flesh of Emmanuel was born within your womb as a robe of crimson is spun from scarlet silk. We proclaim you to be truly the mother of our God. Shine. 
and we magnify you in orthodox fashion as the mother and bride of God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. My inward being is wounded, my body is weak, my spirit is ill, the word is powerless, life is giving way to death, and the end is near. What shall I do when the judge comes, and I must stand before him? Lord, have mercy on me. I have reminded you, O my soul, from the books of Moses, how the world was created, and from accounts throughout the Old Testament have shown examples of both the righteous and the unrighteous, but of those you have imitated the latter rather than the former, and thereby have sinned against your God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. The law has no power over you, O my soul. You have made the gospel fruitless, scorned the scriptures, and reaped yourself no value from the prophets or the writings of the just. Your wounds have increased, and you have no physician to heal you. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Therefore, O my soul, I will remind you of examples from the New Testament to lead you to contrition. Imitate the righteous and shun the ways of sinners that your prayer, fasting, purity, and reverence you may obtain the mercy of Christ. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Christ became a man taking our flesh and of his own free will, enduring everything which pertains to our human nature, except sin. He has shown you an example, the image of his own condescension. Christ became a man and called both robbers and prostitutes to repentance. Therefore, O my soul, return to him. For the doors of the kingdom now stand open, and the Pharisees, tax collectors, and adulterers who have changed their ways are entering ahead of you. Where Christ granted salvation to the Magi who worshipped him, he summoned shepherds to his crib. He manifested as martyrs the infants whom Herod slew, <laughs> glorified Simeon the elder and the widow Anna. But you, my soul, have not imitated the works of any such as these. Therefore, how terrible it will be for you when you are judged. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. After he had fasted forty days in the wilderness, hunger revealed the Lord's human nature. Therefore, O my soul, do not despair if the enemy attacks you, for it is only through prayer and fasting that he shall be defeated. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let us glorify the Father, let us exalt the Son, and let us worship the Holy Spirit, the indivisible Trinity who exists as one, the light and lights, the life and lives, who grants light and life to the ends of the world. And unto ages of ages, amen. O purest Mother of God, preserve your people, for through you we are kept faithful, strengthened, and made able to overcome every temptation, trial, and tribulation. O venerable Father, Andrew, pray to God for us. O Honorable Andrew, thrice blessed Father and Pastor of Crete, 
Never cease praying to God for those who sing your praises, that he may deliver from anger, sorrow, corruption, and countless sins all of us who faithfully honor your memory. Conception incorruptible is the motherhood of a virgin mother. For the birth of God renews nature. So as the mother and bride of God. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler snail and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster come near your tent, but he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion, the, the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loved me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. <clears throat> God is with us. Understand all you nations and submit yourselves, for God is with us. God is with us. Understand all you nations and submit yourselves, for God is with us. Submit yourselves, you mighty ones. Even if your strength returns, you shall be overthrown once more. Take counsel together if you wish, but it will not come. It will come to nothing. Make your plans if you wish, but they will never stand even among yourselves. We do not fear your threats, nor are we troubled. For the Lord our God is holy, and Him will we fear. If I trust in Him, He will be my sanctification. I will wait for Him, He will save me. Behold, I and the children whom God has given me are signs and portents in Israel from the Lord of hosts. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. To those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death, a light is risen. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and of his peace there shall be no end. And his name shall be called the Angel of Great Counsel, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Ruler, Prince of Peace, the Father of the world to come. <coughs> 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is with us. Understand all ye nations, and submit yourselves, for God is with us. God is with us. Understand all ye nations, and submit yourselves. This evening, this night, without sin, and save me, O Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The day is past, I glorify you, O Master. Grant me to pass this evening, this night, without deceit, and save me, O Savior. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. The day is past, I sing to you, O Holy One. Grant me to pass this evening, this night, free from temptation, and save me, O Savior. My body, this cherubim, glorify you with never-ending hymns. The six-winged seraphim exalt you with ceaseless voices. All the hosts of angels triumphantly sing the thrice holy hymn. You are Father before eternity. With your co-eternal Son and Spirit of life equal in honor to you, and you have revealed the undivided Trinity. O most holy Virgin Theotokos, and you eyewitnesses and servants of the Word, you choirs of prophets and martyrs who enjoy eternal life, Fervently pray for us, for we are all in fearful distress, that being delivered from the snares of the evil one, we may sing the angelic hymn. Holy, 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 thrice holy Lord, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, <laughs> and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O all sovereign lady Theotokos, pray for us sinners. O all holy sovereign lady, pray for us sinners. O heavenly hosts of angels and archangels, pray for us sinners. O heavenly hosts of angels and archangels, pray for us sinners. O holy John, prophet, forerunner, and baptizer of our Lord Jesus Christ, pray for us sinners. O holy John, prophet, forerunner, and baptizer of our Lord Jesus Christ, pray for us sinners. O holy apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all saints, pray for us sinners. O holy apostles, prophets, martyrs, and all saints, pray for us sinners. O you are reverend and God-bearing fathers, pastors, and ecumenical teachers, pray for us sinners. O you are reverend and God-bearing fathers, pastors, and ecumenical teachers, pray for us sinners. 
sinners. O Holy Father Andrew at Crete, pray for us sinners. O Holy Father Andrew at Crete, pray for us sinners. O Blessed Father Herman of Alaska, wonder worker of all America, pray for us sinners. O Blessed Father Herman of Alaska, wonder worker of all America, pray for us sinners. O Holy Hierarchs, Innocent and Kikon, with all the saints of this land, pray for us sinners. O Holy Hierarchs, Innocent and Kikon, and all the saints of this land, pray for us sinners. O Holy Wonder Worker Nicholas, pray for us sinners. O Holy Wonder Worker Nicholas, pray for us sinners. O Invincible, Ineffable, and Divine Power, the Honorable and Life Giving Cross, forsake not us sinners. O Invincible, Ineffable, and Divine Power, the Honorable and Life Giving Cross, forsake not us sinners. O God, cleanse 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 us sinners and have mercy on us. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Whiten my eyes, O Christ God, that I sleep not unto death, lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Be the defender of my soul, O God. For I walk amid a multitude of snares. Deliver me from them, and save me, O good one. For you love mankind. Of ages, amen. Since we have no boldness because of our many iniquities, O Virgin Theotokos, fervently entreat him who was born of you. For the prayer of a mother avails much unto the goodness of the Master. Do not despise the petitions of a sinner so of your one. For he is gracious and mighty to save, for he will to suffer for our sakes. Ah, hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my judgment in your faithfulness, answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no man living is righteous before you. For the enemy has pursued me, he has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me sit in darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit fades within me. My heart within me is appalled. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all you have done. I muse on what your hands have wrought. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a parched land. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit fails. Hide not your face from me. Lest I put those who go down into the pit. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I put my trust. Teach me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on a level path. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness bring me out of trouble, and in your steadfast love. Cut off my enemies, and destroy all my adversaries, for I am your servant. <clears throat> o Lord, Almighty, the God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and all their righteous posterity, you who have made heaven and earth with all their order, who have bound the sea, 
by your word of command, who have confined the deep and sealed it with your awesome and glorious name, at whom all things shudder and tremble before your power, for your glorious splendor cannot be borne, and your wrath towards sinners cannot be withstood, yet immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are the Lord most high, compassionate, long-suffering, merciful, and grieved by the evils of men. You, O Lord, according to your great goodness, have promised repentance and forgiveness to those who have sinned against you, and in your compassion you have appointed repentance for sinners, so that they may be saved. You, O Lord, God of hosts, have not appointed repentance for the righteous, for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who did not sin against you, but you appointed repentance for me, a sinner, for the sins I have committed are more in number than the sands of the sea. My transgressions are multiplied, O Lord, my transgressions are multiplied. I am unworthy to look up and see the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. I cannot lift my head. I am weighed down by the weight of my many sins. I am rejected and have no escape, for I have provoked your anger and have done evil in your sight, ignoring your will and disobeying your commandments. Now I bow from my heart, asking grace from you. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my iniquities, but I humbly implore you, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me. Do not destroy me together with my sins. Do not be angry with me forever, and do not condemn me to eternal death. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you will show the extent of your goodness. For unworthy as I am, you will save me in your great mercy, and I will praise you all the days of my life. For all the hosts of heaven sing your praise and glory, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. For laying aside all excuse, we sinners offer to you as to our master this supplication. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, have mercy on us, for in you have we put our trust. Do not be angry with us, nor remember our iniquities, but look down on us even now, since you are compassionate, and deliver us from our enemies. For you are our God, and we are your people. We are all the work of your hands, and we call on your name. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O blessed Theotokos, Open the doors of compassion to us whose hope is in you, that we may not perish but be delivered from adversity through you. For you are the salvation of the Christian people. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will towards man. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You who took away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You that sit at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord, Jesus Christ, for the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father, amen. Every night will I give thanks to you and praise your name forever and ever. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, be merciful to me, heal my soul. For I have sinned against you, I plead to you, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life, and in your light shall we see light. 
Oh, continue to pour your loving kindness to those who know you. Our safe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remain with us, O Lord of hosts. In affliction we have no other helper but you. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. Praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty firmament. Remain with us, O Lord of hosts. In affliction we have no other helper but you. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His exceeding greatness. Remain with us, O Lord of hosts. In affliction we have no other helper but You. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. Praise Him with your trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Remain with us, O Lord of hosts. In affliction we have no other helper but you. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Remain with us, O Lord of hosts. In affliction we have no other helper but you. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. Praise Him with sounding cymbals, praise Him with one clashing cymbals. Remain with us, O Lord of hosts, in affliction we have no other helper but You. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. Praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty firmament. Remain with us, O Lord of hosts. In affliction we have no other helper but you. O Lord of hosts, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, if we did not have your saints as intercessors, and your merciful loving kindness. How could we dare to praise you, O Savior, whom angels glorify ceaselessly, O seer of hearts and beauty of our souls, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Great is the multitude of my transgressions, O Theotokos. I run to you, O pure one, seeking salvation. Visit my ailing soul, and entreat your Son and our God to grant me remission of the awful things I have done. O only blessed one, do not forsake me throughout all the days of my life. O holy Theotokos, do not turn me over to the protection of men, but help me and have mercy on me. All my hope have I placed in you. O Holy Theotokos, protect me, be 
mercy, Lord of 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 mercy. You who are in every season and every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who are long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who loves the just and shows mercy upon the sinners, who calls all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to your commandments. <coughs> Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, Cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about with your holy angels, that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed through ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God, be merciful to us, and bless us, and show the light of your countenance, and be merciful unto us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and I will talk. <coughs> But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother and sister, for you are blessed always now, never to ages of ages. Amen. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Sinner have mercy. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed are you unto ages and to ages of ages. Amen. Amen. O virgin, pure, spotless, incorrupt, undefiled, most pure bride of God and sovereign lady, who united the word of God with men through your most <clears throat> glorious birth giving and has clothed our fallen nature with the heavenly, the hope of the hopeless, the helper of the help of the helpless, a speedy defender of those who flee to you and the refuge of all Christians. Do not loathe me a sinner and pollutant who has shown myself worthless through my shameful thoughts and words and deeds, and who through slothfulness of mine has been a slave to the carnal lust of life, but in that you are the mother of God who loves mankind, mercifully have compassion on me, a sinner and prodigal, and accept my prayer which is offered to you with impure lips, exercising your maternal boldness, and treat your son, who is also our master and Lord, that he will open to me also the compassion and loving kindness of his goodness, and disregarding my countless evil deeds, will turn me again to repentance and show me to be a well-skilled doer of his commandments. Be with me constantly in that you are gracious and full of pity and loving kindness, for you are a merciful mediatrix and helper who in this present life repels the assaults of adversaries and guides me to salvation, and at the hour of death cares diligently for my wretched soul, driving far from it the dark forms of evil spirits, and in the dread judgment day you shall deliver me from torment eternal, and shall show me to be an heir of the ineffable glory of your Son and our God. All this I shall obtain, O Lady and Most Holy Theotokos, through your mediation and intercession, through the mercy and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior <coughs> Jesus Christ, to whom are due all glory, honor, and worship, together with the Father, who is from everlasting, your all holy, good, and light, creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And grant to us, O Master, as we lay down to sleep, repose of both body and soul, and preserve us from the gloomy slumber of sin, and from every dark and evil fantasy, 
Call me impulses of carnal desires, quench the fiery darts of the evil one which are craftily directed against us, assuage the rebellions of our flesh, quiet our every earthly and maternal material anxiety, and grant to us, O God, a watchful mind, chaste reason, sober heart, sleep gentle and free from every vision of the devil, and raise us up again at the hour of prayer, strengthening your precepts, and holding steadfastly within us the memory of your commandments. Grant that through, that through the night we may sing praises to you, and that we may him bless and glorify your own honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O exceedingly glorious and ever virgin Mother of Christ our God, carry our prayers to your Son and our God, and implore him that through you he will save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the hope is, Holy Spirit is my protector. O Holy Trinity, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Father bless. O Master, great and mercy, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the prayers of our all pure Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, through the prayers of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all audible apostles, of our fathers among the saints, hierarchs, and ecumenical teachers, Basil, the great Gregor, the theologian, and John Chrysostom, of our fathers <clears throat> among the saints, Nicholas, the wonder worker, Archbishop of Mira and Lycia, the holy hierarch, innocent, metropolitan, of Moscow, enlightener of the Aleuts, and apostle to America, and Tikhon, confessor, patriarch of Moscow, of the holy, glorious, and right, victorious martyrs of our venerable and governing fathers of our venerable father, Herman of Alaska, and all America, of all the saints who have shown forth in the American lands, of the holy and righteous forebearers of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, make our prayer acceptable. Grant us forgiveness of our sins. Shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Drive far away from us every foreign adversary. Give peace to our lives, O Lord. Have mercy on us and on your world, and save our souls, for you are good <clears throat> and love mankind. Amen. Forgive me, brothers and sisters. May the Lord God forgive you and forgive us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, your holy church, strengthen and increase it, keep it in peace and preserve it in fullness. Safe Lord, from mercy. destruction and division and heresies. Lord, Remember, O oh Lord, have mercy upon his beatitude, our most blessed mercy. metropolitan Tegon, local and penance of the Diocese Lord, of New mercy. England, and all Orthodox bishops, priests, Lord, and deacons, mercy. monks, and nuns, and all those whom you Lord, have called have to mercy. serve in your holy church. Remember, O oh Lord, and have mercy on the members of our parish, the parish council, the singers, the church school, and all the faithful brothers and sisters. Remember, O oh Lord, and have mercy on the elderly. Give them strength to bear what you place upon them for their salvation. Remember, O oh Lord, and have mercy on our parents. Give them the grace to keep their families in truth, love, and every virtue for their salvation and the glory of your holy name. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on the young, particularly the students in our schools, seminaries, and in our OCF. Keep them from every evil, delusion, and harm. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on the working people. Give them fruitful labor for the good of their families. Let them work not merely for personal gain, but for the benefit of others. O Lord, have mercy on the sick and the suffering, especially the minor archbishops, Michael, Montreal, Natasha, Anastasia, Cynthia, Elizabeth, Delphi, and Mara, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Rosanne, Elaine, Maria, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Sam, Andrew, Stephen, Stacy, Anna, and Catherine, those struggling with the coronavirus, especially Lynn, Mitchell, Marsha, Miriam, Lauren, Frank, and Vincent. May their afflictions in the flesh avail for the salvation of our souls and witness to Christ for the redemption of the world. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on all who are persecuted for the Christian faith and for righteousness' sake. 
Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on the hungry, the homeless, the unemployed, the lonely, the destitute, the despairing, the discouraged and depressed. Have mercy, O Lord, on the dying, especially those who are dying alone. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on all those in need of your saving mercy and strength, guidance, direction, and consolation. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and eternal life, particularly our spiritual leaders, the founders and members of our parish and our family members. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on this country, its president, Congress, Supreme Court, governors, civil authorities, armed forces, and all its people. Let your will be done through them for the good of all. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on those who hate us and judge us, those who we have hated and judged, those who oppress us and those for whom we show no love. Let them not perish through our sinfulness. Give us grace and power to love them with all our hearts. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on those who have asked us in our unworthiness to pray for them. Consider their needs and grant that which is good for their salvation. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on those whom we have not remembered, for you know each person his calling, his temptations, and needs. Remember, O Lord, and have mercy on the whole world and its people. Grant the leaders godly wisdom and the nation's peace. And remember, O Lord, who offer these petitions, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Forgive, O Lord, those who hate us and those who have wronged us. Do well to those who do well. Grant our brethren and kin those prayers which are good for salvation and life eternal. Visit the sick and grant them healing. Journey with those who travel by land, by sea, or by air. Direct and help our civil authorities. To those who have served us and have been kind to us, grant forgiveness of their sins. Have mercy on those who have asked us in our unworthiness to pray for them. Remember, O oh Lord, our parents and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, and give them rest where the light of your countenance shall visit them. Remember, O oh Lord, those who are in captivity, and release them from the difficulties which beset them. Remember, O oh Lord, those who bring offerings and the benefactors of your holy churches. Grant them those petitions which are good for their salvation and life eternal. Remember also, O Lord, us, your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants. Illumine our minds with the light of your wisdom and guide us in the way of your commandments. Through the prayers of our most holy lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, uh, take a little time this evening to just simply reflect on the words of this canon, and we will look forward to gathering again tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, uh, again for the service of Great Compline and following the uh, text for Tuesday evening. God bless and be with you, and may God strengthen us as we enter into our Great Lenten journey. Have a blessed night.